Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Just recently got back from Mexico. One of my best friends got married, and I took a medical kit, or I took a wedding-specific medical pouch here to Mexico. I went over in some Instagram clips sort of the contents, not in great detail, but some of the contents that were in this bag, and maybe I'll make another video as to why I put the equipment that's in this bag, in this bag for the wedding trip specifically. But what I wanted to talk with you about was the tourniquet that I used. So this tourniquet that is not in here because it's actually right here, I brought with me to the wedding. This stayed on the bag itself when it went underneath the plane to get checked. And then I kept this entire bag in the hotel room the entire time. However, this tourniquet was in my pocket everywhere on property at the resort that we went. No matter where it was at the wedding, I still had this on me. This goes with me everywhere. This is what I carry every day here back in the States as my main tourniquet along with obviously the handgun here with the T-Rex arms holster. This is the tourniquet that is my go-to tourniquet that I've been wearing for the last couple of weeks. I have a cat tourniquet that I keep on my gun belt when I'm out at the range. However, this is much smaller, significantly smaller than that cat tourniquet. And it's more feasible to wear. If it's not comfortable, you're not gonna wear it. And so this is much more comfortable to wear than the cat tourniquet itself. So this is the one I'm rocking with. This is the snake staffs or snake staffs yeah, Snake Staff's tourniquet. I can't remember. This is not a paid advertisement. They didn't pay me to say this. I'm just trying to give you guys some education regarding tourniquets. There is a lot of talk on how to properly stage tourniquets. What's the best way? What's the worst way? As if any of that shit matters. Wear the tourniquet or don't wear the tourniquet. That is going to be the difference whether someone lives or dies or you stop bleeding or you don't stop bleeding. Whether you actually had a tourniquet there or you didn't. The The... The fact that people get so wrapped up in, in properly staging this and this is my best way and I'm biased towards this way, just wrap, stage the tourniquet, however you see fit. I just staged this the way I see fit and I wrapped a rubber band around it just so that this isn't extremely loose and it just tightens it down a little bit more than if I didn't. Uh, but I also just use the manufacturer's recommendation on how they stage it and that's totally fine for me guys it's seconds it, i mean it doesn't take that long to rip this on and put it on one of the limbs that are actively bleeding regardless of how you stage it so let's just not focus on inconsequential shit and focus on the real stuff which is carry the tourniquet and carry a tourniquet that you're going to carry every day because it's comfortable and feasible for you to carry every day and that's why i wanted to make a video regarding this tourniquet because it's extremely small and that's why i purchased this and it's not very expensive it was thirty dollars Obviously, what do we do in the hospital setting? So what makes a hospital very beneficial to tourniquets is that there's a team there. There's a huge team that's focusing on one patient at a time. Obviously, we have trauma activations. I don't work. Oh, I do work at a trauma center, actually. But traumas don't come in every day, right? You don't have every day where there's 15 people coming in with GSWs, right? Usually, it's one severe trauma, and you have a huge resource team focusing on it. You have a trauma surgeon. You have an ER doc. You have... ER nurses, you have respiratory therapists, you have ER techs, you have the janitorial staff that's helping clean the entire room. I mean, it's it's so many people. Residents, if there's this is a teaching hospital. So there's a lot of hands able to stop bleeding, whether that's direct pressure, whether that's packing wounds, whether we also have used manual blood pressure cuffs in the ER to stop bleeding. Those work really well. Uh, and then obviously a surgeon to be able to identify where the arterial bleed is and fix it. So, however... We don't have a team when we're out in the world. And so this is better than nothing. I, luckily my wife is a nurse and four hands are better than two. So having her there to help me and do a lot of things better than I can is obviously beneficial. But a tourniquet is as highly beneficial for you guys to carry every day. And this one is the one that I chose just because it is significantly smaller than the cat tourniquet. And this is actually not even their smallest tourniquet that they make. So as you can tell, the diameter here is fairly small very compact and they actually make an even smaller or one that's even smaller with a smaller diameter which is really cool however i thought this was more than adequate it's really comfortable when i'm carrying it in my pocket and it's easy to use it even comes with this chem light here that i believe breaks when you have tightened down when you have tightened it down to a significant amount of pressure it breaks and again this is just maybe something that it's dark and you don't know if someone has a tourniquet on, but you do see a chem light flashing. Hey, what's that chem light? You look at it. Oh, this person has a tourniquet on their limb. <laughs> so really cool idea. 
I think you could change these out fairly uh, fairly easily as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. But the quality is, is fine. I, I believe they're still in the process of maybe getting, I can't even remember what the certification is, but they're in the process of getting certified to, uh, tourniquets go through the certification process. And the CAT tourniquet has made that certification process. They have passed that certification process. I don't think this company has, but I can tell you right now from a healthcare provider who works in ER, who has dealt with arterial bleeds, who knows the right amount of pressure needs to be applied, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This does everything that it needs to do. This is not inferior to any cat tourniquet just because it hasn't passed the certification just yet. Cat's been around for a while, this has not. This will do just fine, this will stop bleeding. I have adequately placed it on myself and there is more than enough pressure that is placed when using this. Nothing broke when I was applying that amount of pressure. My capillary refill was ex ex extremely decreased. I mean, I'm talking less than eight or more than eight to nine seconds it took for the blood flow to go, come back into my hand and I didn't even have this tightened down completely, which means it does what it needs to do. If I needed to tighten it tighter, I could have tightened it tighter and cut off all circulation to this arm, but I didn't want to do that. However, in the event where I need to, this will hold up just fine. So just wanted to make that video for you guys, not an extensive review on the tourniquet itself. I just wanted to let you know the tourniquet that I actually carried in Mexico on my person and the tourniquet that I feel is more than appropriate to get the job done. Very small, very compact, very feasible and comfortable to wear. Again, if it's uncomfortable, you're not going to wear the tourniquet. So don't get so wrapped up either in how you properly stage this because there is no proper way. You just do whatever it is fits best for you. The manufacturer that makes these, they will provide you with the way that they believe is the best way to stage the tourniquet. And I think that's just fine. Carry the tourniquet and don't get so wrapped up in how you stage or don't stage or whether or not this tourniquet has a certification or this one doesn't. Because I'm telling you, someone who deals with much more than your average person, probably more than 99.9% .9 of people in the world, this is adequate. I work in an ER, this is more than adequate. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll go into a further, or maybe I'll do a, for, uh, a video at a later time to further go into what I took on in, maybe I'll go home and make a video at a further date talking about the contents that I actually took to Mexico that are in this bag. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one.